The second his eyes opened, he saw the world and just wanted to scream. He would let you know when he did not want to do something, when you weren't looking at him. He would let you know when he wanted attention. I could hear that boy all the way from my room screaming. Oh my goodness. Every time you would just talk to him, he would just like sass you back. We just got a new puppy in. We've named him Hammy. And um, so far he's doing really good. He's very vocal. So Hammy came into my care from a friend of mine who runs a rescue. She needed a little bit of help because he had a cleft palate. I'm a licensed vet tech. And I created the Bottle Brigade, basically a safe place where people could bring their animals with special needs that needed help to take them away from the euthanasia list. The first day or two of he was having a lot of trouble breathing. So I just had to stick Hammy into oxygen and he's not himself. He's not being very vocal with us. He's got a lot stacked against him, but he's a little fighter. As we started taking him slowly out of the incubator, we would give him like, you have some time. Then we put him back in. He was like, um, why am I back in here? Hammy was telling me he was ready to come out of the incubator. Hello. You guys, I am rocking my hammy shirt today. Hammy has been so talkative today. He has been yelling at me. He wants out the incubator. And that boy's lungs are no problem any longer. He was able to now run around the whole house. And he absolutely loved that. Hammy loved Etta, our great name. Edda weighs 100 pounds and Hammy was maybe five pounds and he would sass at her and he had no idea she was bigger than him. On her way to work. He came to work with me every single day at the hospital. Everybody was his friend. When we would leave work with Hammy, we'd come home and he'd be ready to run around and play. The plan for Hammy was always that he would go back to Jenny, who had brought Hammy over to me. She knew that, that he was meant to stay there with her. Well, Hammy's off to his new family. We are so sad, but so happy for him. He is going to be so spoiled. Uh, our portion here is done. He's moving on to the next chapter in his life. Hammy is just like a walking miracle and it just gives me so much more faith in my other babies too that like they can get through it.